Hi everybody, David Dilling here on behalf of MarkSquare. MarkSquare's Q.ID was a very popular Quark to InDesign conversion plugin for Adobe InDesign, many different versions. About two years ago, we replaced Q.ID with QXP Marks. QXP Marks is now a standalone application. It's no longer a plugin. However, it still can work within InDesign. So in this video, we're going to give you a quick sort of, let's say, get started quickly with QXP Marks for Mac OS and for Windows. We'll start first with Mac OS. So the most important thing after you have read the documentation, which is on our web page on how to install, which is very simple, you launch QXP Marks. It's a standalone application. Q.ID was a plugin. QXP Marks, the new replacement for Q.ID, is a standalone application. So it's very easy to use. You can just drag and drop files on here or click open files. So I drag a file on there. I get a preview of the Quark file, and I can make conversion options. The preview is really neat. That's a cool new feature, very handy. The Windows version does not have preview, but will allow you to simply convert your Quark Express files into InDesign or Affinity Publisher. And it's very simple. You just choose where you want to go. You want to go to InDesign, you click InDesign. If you want to convert to Affinity Publisher, you click Affinity Publisher or Illustrator, whatever it might be. It's very simple. You can also export right to IDML, even open in specific versions and do some batch processing, which if you have multiple files might be handy. Most people like to see before they convert. That's what's great about QXP marks being standalone. You can do file open, you can open your recent files, and you can also, of course, use QXP marks in InDesign itself. That's an optional script that installs when you start up. It's very simple, just like the old Qt ID, it shows up in the menu, menu item up top. All information on this is on our webpage on how to install QXP marks, standalone version, and how to install the scripts. It's all extremely simple, but there's a lot of confusion sometimes over, hey, I don't see anything in my InDesign menu item. No, because QXP marks a standalone application. You first drag it on um, QXP marks, then you click open in InDesign. Then it fires up InDesign, takes you in InDesign, and converts your file for you. And then we see it opens up here. Then you get to work on editing this file that was once just right over here. So this Quark file, which is just in QXP marks, is now an editable InDesign file with a click right up there. Same thing with Affinity Publisher, click in QXP marks, open in here. Now the confusion is some people thought, well, where did it go in my menu item? Well, you can, if you install the optional script in InDesign itself, you'll get the marks for menu item convert Quark Express document. You click there and the same process will happen. It'll open right up in InDesign for you, but this time via the script using QXP marks in the background. So it's very easy to convert your files either via InDesign, the menu item marksware, or via the standalone QXP marks and click the InDesign icon to convert right into Adobe InDesign. The Windows version is very similar, but actually yet totally different. Um, on a Mac here, so I can't show you exactly how that looks. However, the interface does not have the preview like you saw. The preview is a great option. However, at the end of the day, most people just need to convert Quark to InDesign, and that's what the Windows version does. Let me get this interface right here where you can actually uh, open your, your Quark Express files and convert them and open them automatically in InDesign or even in Affinity Publisher and other applications as well. And most importantly, it'll convert your Quark file right in InDesign for you so you can get to work within InDesign with the Quark file on Windows as well. It's called QXP Marks SE. And the, the difference you can see up here, QXP Marks for Mac OS and QXP Marks SE for Windows. So just depending on what you have, you just go to the website and all the information and documentation will be there. So that's how easy it is to convert Quark Express files to InDesign or even Affinity Publisher with MarkSquare, QXP Marks. Please like and share this video if it was useful. And once again, if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, please do click the bell, get notified. We make a lot of different videos on a lot of useful tools and industry information to help you in InDesign, Affinity Publisher, Quark Express, you name it, we try to cover it. All right, everybody, David Dillon from Marksquare, wishing you a fantastic day. Take care.